Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vivian Nguyen. Today we're going to do a full face of M Cosmetics. Um, I just received the collection in the mail and yeah, let's just hop right into it. I'm not planning on using the M Cosmetics Cushion Foundation. Um, since there are only six shades, I couldn't really shade match online very well, um, so I decided to just forego that step. Um, so I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer and kind of just use the concealer like as my foundation for today. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Beige. I'm going to use this brush. This is the e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush with the foundation side and the concealer side. I'm just going to use the concealer side to blend this out a little bit. Alright, I just took that concealer and just kind of blended it everywhere. Um, I'm not trying to have the most full coverage base. I just want a little bit of evenness to my skin. And the e.l.f. Hydrogen Camo Concealer is relatively full coverage. Um, so just by blending that over the face, it's very cohesive and it kind of blanks out the canvas. We're going to start off with the M Cosmetics So Soft Stick in the shade Terra. This is more of a cool tone shade. Um, I really, I've used this before and I really like this. I really like how blendable and creamy these are. Um, they're also pretty pigmented, so you don't need a lot at all. I just take a little, a couple swipes into the places I want to contour a little bit. Um, and I find that the shade is also just warm enough to also work as my bronzer. Um, so I won't be going in with anything extra after that. To blend this out, I'm going to use this ColourPop F32 brush. I'm just going to kind of stipple at it to blend it out. But also, once it blends out a little bit, I start going in circular motions. You can just see how easily that blended out and it took basically no effort at all. And I'm going to take an even smaller brush. Um, I'm going to take this pencil brush. That's a little bit too much on the nose. So I'm going to take the brush I use for my foundation or concealer and just kind of go over that. We're gonna use the Heaven's Glow blush in the shade Rococo. I'm gonna take the this It Cosmetics brush for Ulta. I'm not exactly sure what brush this is, but it's just an angled blush brush. And I'm just gonna start buffing this onto the cheeks. Ooh, I really like that. Um, the tone of this is not too pink or orange it's like a very pretty neutral um i really like this formula because it leaves such a pretty sheen to the face um or to the cheeks it's not sparkly or glittery in any way but it, it leaves just a very pretty like shine like a, like a glow
I really like that. I think it's super pretty and it's like almost a perfect everyday color. Um, I really like the glow that it gives me. It's not too shiny. It's like just right. Yeah, I, I really like that. I'm enjoying that very much. Next, we're going to do highlighter. I have this M Cosmetics Sunscape Highlighter in the shade Majesty. So I'm going to take this ColourPop F33 brush and then we're just going to go for the high points of the face. Ooh, I really like that. That's a very pretty glow. It's not glittery at all, which in the pan it does look like it might be. It doesn't seem to emphasize any texture. That's really pretty. I really like that. On to the eyes. So I'm going to use this M Cosmetics Brow Cream in the shade Espresso for my eyebrows. Um, I have very sparse eyebrows like my eyebrow hairs are very thin um and i do feel like this fills them in a little bit and just makes them like a little bit thicker but i have some bald spots so usually if i just use this it's not enough i'll have to go in with a pencil as well And I do like this because it does seem to set down my brow hairs. That's just a little bit too sparse. So I'm going to take this Anastasia brow pencil and just kind of fill in the gaps. Okay, that's it for the brows. It's a very natural brow look. So I'm going to prime my eyelids. I'm going to use this Milani eyeshadow primer. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use the... M Cosmetics Divine Skies Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm going to first take this fluffy brush. This is a BH Cosmetics number 5 brush. I'm just going to go in with this light brown shade here. I'm just going to take that and then just kind of buff this all over the lid. There's not really anything like special about it. It's just like an, a transition shade brown. So I'm not like, I'm not blown away by it, but I do like how blendable it is. And it's a very good transition color for me. Next, let's go in with the shade at the bottom here, the shade Clay. I'm just going to take this on a BH Cosmetics number 9 brush and I'm going to try and focus this on the outer corner a little bit just to deepen it up. So they seem to blend together very well, um, which I like, which I enjoy a lot. I'm going to take this kind of darker shimmer shade here. This is the shade Whisper. I'm gonna take that on my finger and just tap it onto the lid. Okay, I really like that color. It adds a little bit more of a, like a, a grunge to this look, which I like. I'm really liking the way that's looking. I think I need to deepen up the outer corner a little more. So I'm gonna take this pencil brush. It's BH Cosmetics number 10. I'm going to take the darkest shade here, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to go on the outer corner. Okay, with that same brush, I'm going to go back into these two, or two lighter brown shades, and I'm just going to run that on my lower lash line. I'm going to take this top shade here called Muse. 
and I'm gonna try and put this onto the inner third of the lid. Okay, this shade is very sparkly. It has like red and yellow and pink sparkles in it, which I personally really like. I really like the effect that has. I can definitely see that being one of my favorite shades. I'm gonna take this really small brush. This is a ColourPop E29 brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade, this last shimmer shade called Masterpiece, this lightest one here. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. And that is the eye look all done. I'm gonna catch this eye up to speed and I'll be right back. For mascara, I'm gonna go in with the M Cosmetics Pick Me Up Mascara. Alright, for the mascara, I'm not loving how it's looking. I prefer more of a volumizing mascara and this seems more lengthening than anything. I will say that I like that this is a tubing mascara. I like that when I'm ready to take it off at the end of the night, the removal process is really easy. My lashes are very straight like asian lashes so most mascaras don't hold a curl on me unless i use a waterproof mascara but waterproof mascaras often smudge on me i will say that mascara is more of a drier formula um i'm not sure if it's because of how long i've had the mascara or if it's because of that's just the way the formula is i've had that mascara sitting in my drawer for a couple months now um, but this is my first time using it I don't like to have too many mascaras open at the same time so it's it's just been sitting in my drawer so I'm not sure if the formula is drier because of that or if the formula itself is just naturally drier for lips I'm gonna use this and cosmetics soft blur velvet lip liner in the shade kitten I really like that this lip liner is retractable and that you don't have to sharpen it i prefer those kinds of lip pencils and i've used this before and i know that this lip pencil is very creamy um, and very blendable so i'm just gonna line my lips Lips are lined, and I'm gonna go in with the M Cosmetics lip cushion in the shade Van Gogh. So this is also part of their um, new collection. I am really liking the shade of this, like a lot. I'm really liking the way that looks. This would be like my perfect everyday nude. It's a little bit like, mauve it's a little darker but i really like the way that looks formula wise i think it's really nice it's very comfortable on the lips it leaves kind of a glossy shine but with a lot of pigment and i think that is it so to recap final thoughts the eyeshadow palette it's nothing new it's nothing like super special but if you like m cosmetics formula for eyeshadows and you like this color story like there's nothing wrong with it i believe it's 40 dollars, which is a little bit expensive for six shades but being someone who loves neutrals and loves like small palettes that i can take with me when i travel or something like that i really like this i like the color story in here it kind of gives you a little bit of everything so it gives you a nice transition color a nice like kind of like orangey tone color a nice deep brown i like the deep brown a lot i really like that i can use it as a shadow liner or just to deepen up the look that i already have 
as far as the shimmer shades go, I really like this this one right here. I feel like it's a very pretty like pink gold sheen. This darker shimmer, it's a very pretty bronze and it's it's just as like shimmery and sparkly as the the top shade. For this last shade, this is more of like a a satin, but I really like that for the inner corner. So overall, I like it. It it's probably going to be a staple in my collection, but I can see how in other people's collection it's just the same same but different. Definitely not like a need to have, but I will say it's a nice to have. For the blush, this is my first time trying the Heaven's Glow blush formula, and I will say that I really like this. I really like the tone of it. It's very neutral. It's very perfect for like everyday looks. I feel like this blush would go with basically everything like if i want to do a more bold eye look i feel like this would also match i like the fact that it has like a sheen to it so it's very glowy but not in your face glowy it's not like glittery in any sense it's very pigmented so just be a little cognizant of that i just really like the way that it looks like it doesn't emphasize texture at all this is probably my favorite thing that I used today. As for the highlighter, I really like this highlighter. I love the packaging of this. It just seems so like chic. You have like the glossy white outside and then this golden ring on the inside. Um, this shade itself is very pretty. It's a very bronzy gold, which I don't have in my collection. It's very glowy, but not glittery at all. I really like the way that it looks on the skin. It's not texture enhancing. It is very much just like melts into the skin, which is always what I want in a highlighter. As for the So Soft Sticks, this is probably one of my favorite contours. Um, I like how blendable it is. I like the tone of this as well. Like it's it's not orange on me at all. It just gives a very subtle definition to the face. In terms of the brow cream, I do like it. I think that it does a good job of holding my brows in place. But from what I've read and heard about this, I expected it to be more filling in than it actually is. So meaning like I still have to go in with a pencil afterwards, which that could very much just be my eyebrow type, um, that it's sparse, but I find that the benefit give me brow, give me brow gives kind of the same effect. Um, so not a staple, but I do enjoy it and I will continue to use it. For the mascara, I will say that I like that it's a tubing formula and I like that it's not going to smudge on me. I wish it was a little bit more volumizing. That's just the type of lash I prefer because I do already have kind of long lashes. They're just very straight. If this is something that you're interested in, I do like it. I find that the Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara is a little bit better at volumizing and I like the packaging of the Thrive Mascara a little bit more. So I find that the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara is a little bit more volumizing and a little bit more curl holding. So if that's what you're looking for in a mascara, I would go with that over this one. Although I still will continue to use it. I do like it on my bottom lashes. I find that it makes my bottom lashes look a little bit more put together. And I find that this wand isn't as eye pokey as the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, if that's something that you're worried about. Oh, oh no! Oh no! I'll get that later. In terms of the lip liner, I really like this formula. It's very creamy. Um, and it just kind of glides on your lips. I will say that it can be a little bit too creamy. So I can like, it smudges a little bit too easily. So sometimes I go over my lip line and I don't have to fix it. But I like the formula. I like this color kitten specifically. It's very pretty for like 
an everyday look. And the tinted lip cushions are also very pretty. I do really like the tinted lip cushions. I really like the formula. I really like the shade in particular. Um, it's very glossy, but also very comfortable on the lips. I do like this more than I like their glosses. So I also have the M Cosmetics gloss in quartz and I find this to be a little bit sticky so if you're interested in these types of products I will say that I really like it and I really like the effect it gives and I believe that is it so if you like this video if you like me um, please be sure to subscribe and like the video it would mean so much to me and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye